If you're not communicating with your doubles partner on changeovers, then you're missing a big opportunity to make adjustments during the match and improve your chances of winning. So I want you to tag your doubles partner below or share this video with them so that you can both go through this uh, and everything that I'm about to go over. So these are some of the things that I like to go over during changeovers with my doubles partner. So the first thing to go over is any new tendencies that you've noticed from the other team. So we're focused first on the other side of the court. So if you notice a player is closing into the net a lot harder and you didn't pick up on that before, or they're hitting their forehand a lot bigger than you had anticipated, or uh, they're both getting to the net a lot and finishing the point with volleys, talk a little bit about what you're noticing. And then from there, you can talk about kind of some overall adjustments that you can make according to what you're noticing. So one example might be uh, in our return games, hey, I noticed that the uh, server's partner is really closing into the net and pinching hard. So one adjustment we might be able to make is you can return a lob down the line and it doesn't even have to be a good lob because they're playing so close to the net or uh, they're hitting their forehand on their serve plus one shot so big. So maybe we need to make an adjustment on uh, me being up and maybe we should play two back on the return, this next return game. Um, so look for those tendencies and talk about any adjustments that you need to make. The next thing I wanna go over is your needs. So uh, this actually means your partner's needs. Is there anything you need from me that I'm not giving you right now on the court? Maybe it's something on your service games, maybe it's on your return points, maybe it's when you're at the net. Uh, is there anything you need that you're missing from me right now? This is something that uh, takes a little bit of vulnerability to be able to ask, but it's really, really important because if your partner's struggling to hold serve or struggling with a baseline rally, they might say, yeah, I'm really struggling with this baseline rally. Um, I can't out rally that guy. I, I don't know what to do in this matchup. And then you might be able to say, okay, well, why don't I try getting more involved in the net? Or why don't I try playing two back and then you can get to the net and I can rally with them because we're better when you're at the net and I'm at the baseline. Um, so opening that line of communication on those changeovers is gonna help you brainstorm and come up with new ideas to make some of these adjustments and ultimately improve your chances of winning the match and improve your strategy overall. Uh, the next thing is my needs. So, uh, there's a reason that I have it in this order. I want you focused on your own needs last. The, the most important thing is focusing on the opponent, then your partner, then yourself. Um, so if there's something you need from your partner, you need to be able to communicate that in a uh, non-judgmental and a non-coaching way. So uh, if we're struggling to hold my service games, I might tell them, hey, I'm really struggling from the baseline here. Um, can we run eye formation next time on my service game most of the time so that you can just be a little bit more of a threat at the net and uh, maybe we'll be able to force some return errors. Um, so express those needs to your partner again to kind of open up some of that communication. Uh, another thing you can go over is what's working. So is there something that you did in the last couple of games that was really effective that maybe you can do more of? Um, so maybe we just lost our last return game, but it was a really tight deuce game. And we uh, did a really nice job of making a lot of returns and just making them play. So you might encourage your partner and say, hey, we made a lot of returns there. They were lucky to get out of that game alive. So we got to continue to do that and really uh, accentuate the types of returns that we were just hitting. Um, and then the last thing that you want to focus on is the very next game. Uh, all of this stuff kind of ties into the match overall, but the only thing that you can really focus on and control right now is this very next game. So if you're coming out and you're gonna be serving, you might focus on a high first serve percentage, or you might focus on that serve plus one volley or getting that serve plus one forehand. Um, on a return game, you might focus on, let's make a high percentage of returns here, or let's go with that net player because they're really weak and they're playing pretty far off the net. Whatever it is, choose something to focus on for that very next game. And I know this is a lot of information, so you might not be able to cover all of this on every changeover, but hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas on 
uh, some different things you can communicate with your doubles partner on the changeovers. Um, and you can kind of prioritize what feels most important on a particular uh, changeover. So be sure to share this with your doubles partner. Uh, write down these notes. Uh, if you need to, keep them in your bag and you can kind of look at it on a changeover and kind of go through uh, this checklist. And if there's anything else that you like to go over on changeovers, leave them in the comments below as well. I would love to hear them.